Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brighton and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Etsy, whatnot, here on YouTube, auctions, and from my videos. If there's anything that you would like from this video, all you have to do is send me an email at brightonyourday at yahoo.com and, um, you know, send me a timestamp or a screenshot. That would be awesome. Um, and that's it. Um, just like my, my, let me go over. I do not accept PayPal. I only take Venmo, Zelle, and Cash App. So I'm sorry if you only have PayPal. Unfortunately for me, it just doesn't work for me. So, all right. So this is a Shop Goodwill, um, 10 pounds of costume jewelry. It's coming from Goodwill of Central Iowa. I don't think I've ever gotten a lot from Iowa before. So this will be interesting. Um, you know, I don't expect there to be any gold or silver in these boxes, but hopefully there will be some sellable. So let me take a look. Let me take a picture. This will be my thumbnail picture. It's interesting. See some stretch bracelets and some yeah, just interesting looking lot. Let me take a couple pictures. Again, for my thumbnail picture. All right, and um, I guess I'm just gonna put it right here off to the side, and we're just gonna grab some jewelry out of it. Um, again, I'm gonna try and have prices as I go. If I can't think of a price right away, I will have it on the screen. All right, let's get started. Ooh, that hurt. Something poked me. Um, we have a whole row of these bracelets that are brand new. They all say Sassy Bling. Um, I do not know that. Oh, let me lower you guys some. All right. Um, they all say Sassy Bling. So we have this champagne with black. We have just um, an all black one. We have a champagne and black in matte champagne. We have like this really cool, this one I'm going to save for my cousin. I think she would like that one. I'm going to save these two for my cousin. Um, these ones, do I think she would like that? You know what? I don't think she would like that one. So these four, so these four are available. So champagne black, black with a pave bead, um, black. And then champagne and black and metal. Um, so we're going to do $4 each. This one's fasted. These ones are just round glass. And we're just going to do $4 each on those. Hope the lighting's not going to be too bad. I might have to angle my camera a tad. There we go. So $4 each on those. That's what I'm going to keep. Okay. We have some black bangles. I don't know anything about Bakelite or Lucite. I just know that that's what you want to keep an eye out for. So I'm going to put these to the side to test. I'm sure none of them are, but you never know. This says the green ribbon is for national that is the national symbol for organ and tissue donation. Iowa Donor Network. Yes, this one came from Iowa. Um, we'll just do a dollar on it if anyone likes that. This is vintage. It is marked silver plated. Silver plated. It has the um, safety chain. So it just snaps in and you push out. I should have gotten a measuring tape. Um, I'm a seven and a quarter wrist. And this fits me. I would say this probably fits best at a seven, but it does fit. Uh, you know what? Actually, fits me quite loosely. So I would say seven, seven and a half, seven, seven and a quarter, seven and a half would be able to fit this. Um, let's. It says silver plated. It's vintage. Has the safety chain. Let's do five dollars. Let's do five dollars on that. All right. Next we have a necklace that is marked. Ooh, now this is Gloria Vanderbilt. So there is two different swans. There is a swan for Swarovski. There is a swan for Gloria Vanderbilt. This is Gloria Vanderbilt. See the difference? Well, 
maybe I can try and put it on screen, but so this is not a Swarovski, but it's still really nice costume jewelry. It is a silver tone link. Don't see. Oh, and they have rhinestones. Maybe this is Swarovski. I think this is, I don't think this is Swarovski. Um, let's just do, I don't think it's Swarovski. I think that's Gloria Vanderbilt. Let's do um, $5 on it. $5 on this has these really pretty blingy um, rhinestones in between the links. So nice. Gloria Vanderbilt. Possibly Swarovski, but I'm pretty sure it's Gloria Vanderbilt. Okay, we have a an Urmish. These bracelets are actually pretty good. I have sold several of these. Um, let's do $5 on the Urmish. Really pretty square faceted beads with gold tone. It's like an kind of like an opalite almost. Really nice Urmish. I've sold a nice bit of those and they always sell pretty good for me. Um, all right. Let's see. This is Mart Korea. So it is a gold tone herringbone, I think, chain. With a little bow and rhinestone, like a little rhinestone in the middle of the bow. How adorable. This is on the shore. I would say this is probably about 16 to 18 inches. I should get a tape measure. Um, let's do four dollars on it. That's a really nice little um Korea gold plated, very dainty bow necklace. I like that. All right, this is Main Street for sensitive ears, nickel free. Eighteen dollars. Let's just do um three dollars. Let's do two dollars. Two dollars on those. Main Street. All right, we have a little faux leather earring. We have this like wicker earring. We have this little beaded earring. Throw all the earrings to the side until we get matches. All right, so this is no mark maker's marks. I usually just throw these in crafts, so it'd be a dollar. Put that right there. Okay, we have that earring. Okay, this feels like glass. Yes, so we have glass and it does have a lobster hook. Um, these are, are what I call oil slick, but other people also call them peacock, um, rainbow, but it's where it's like green, blue, gold, purple, just a really pretty mix of colors. And these are definitely glass. And let's just do, um, $4 on this as well. $4 on that. All right. So we have another pair of, um... Swarovski or um earrings they are fine silver plated um let's do genuine crystal all the stones are there let's do um three dollars on those no missing stones they're like a half hoop three bucks all right um we have a really pretty ring that has a ton of wear so it is craft we have another ring. This one does not have as much, but it does still have a, some slight wear. So that's a craft. Okay, these are silver tone clip-on earrings. Let's just do um, $2 on those. All right, this looks like another Urmish. It is. This is a, like a rose. Um, this is like a copper color, not rose. This is like a copper... I would say like copper hematite. Is there such a thing? Let's just do five dollars on that one as well. I pretty sure I sell most of my Urmishes for around ten, so the subscriber price will be five dollars on probably if I get however many I get. Hopefully, there's more. I see more in here. All right. Um, this one is broken, so it's craft. And these I I'm not gonna sell those. Those are just craft. Um, this is Mart. N R Q, which I believe is Avon. It says, follow your heart with a little pave rhinestone charm. And it is a cuff bracelet. It is adjustable. Again, I'm a seven and a quarter. It fits me perfectly. So I would say a seven to seven and a half. This would fit. Um, we'll just do $3 on that. It's an Avon NRQ. Follow your heart. $3. This, I believe, is a scarf. Um... 
charm. I, mean, I think it's missing something on the bottom, possibly. So that would just be a dollar if anyone likes that. All right. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Um, let's see. Yeah, so far no silver. But again, I'm not really expecting silver. Shop Goodwill usually is pretty good at getting anything that's marked or testing. Um, so this is tangled. So now we're just going to put that to the side. We have a little bracelet that says dream. We'll just do a dollar on it. It kind of looks like a Pure Vita. Okay, we have these. Let's just do those for $2. $2. $2. All right. We have that. Oh, it's a peacock. How cute is that? Hopefully we get the match. Someone wanted $22 for these. We are just going to say a dollar. Dollar on those. All right. We have a motorcycle angel. Wearing this motorcycle angel may help keep you safe and make every ride smooth. It was 550. This is old. This is from 2001. This is vintage. This is 22 years old. Let's do, what is it? $5. Let's just do $5 on it. $5 on it. Motorcycle Angel. Would be really cute. Um, Christmas gift, stocking stuffer. Gotta think of Christmas, guys. These are new on the card. Stella Maggie. Stella Marie. Stella Marie. They were $20. Let's do four. Let's do four dollars on those. Really cool abstract earrings. Okay, we have another bangle. I'm pretty sure these are just end being craft, but you never know. We have some hoop earrings that look like they're about two inches or so. And um they retailed for eight. So let's just do two dollars on those. Two dollars for the, the target earrings. Okay, that's craft. All right. Oh, and we got a couple more things. Um, this is Waffle, W-A-F-F-L-E, turquoise, wire-wrapped hoop earrings in color mint. They actually kind of look like um, real stones. I would say those are probably about an inch and a half to two inch hoops. Let's do, they look like real stones. Let's do $4. $4 on those. All right. And then we have this, the Ribbon of Hope. So um, I believe this is all for cancer, maybe. Colon cancer. Survivor. Lung cancer. Ovarian cancer. Yeah, so I think all of these are different. Um, all the different colors for cancer. Cancer ribbon. Um, genuine Austrian crystal. So it is crystal. That's really pretty. That's stunning. Let's do um five dollars for that. Let's do four. Four dollars for that. It's really pretty. Genuine crystal. Oh, it's by Howard's. Howard's is expensive. So four dollars on that one. Probably list those myself if no one takes it. Um, a grandmother pen. This is from 1994. Um, let's do four dollars on this one as well. $4 for the grandmother pen. Okay, this is um, accessories. It is a gold silver mesh. was sold for $4.88. This is definitely a vintage tag by Walmart. Um, it is 18 and a half inches with all the silver beads. Let's just do um, $2 on that. New on the card, $2. Anyone likes that? All right, this I saw in the picture when I bought it. Is Liz Claiborne. Um, so they definitely look like marcasites. I'm sure they're just gray rhinestones, but they do look like marcasites. And is new in the box. Retailed for $24. I can't tell what the that was the clearance price, I think. Can't tell. Um, let's do this was 24 new. I'll probably list it for 15. Let's do seven. So if anyone likes this, $7. $7 on the Liz Claiborne. All right. I'm going to pull out some more. Ooh, look at these little cameos. I 
got this for a pretty good deal. So I'm not worried if there's anything too bad, if there's anything crazy in it or not, because I got it for so inexpensive. Um, right. so this is what I pulled out. So let's go through some of these. This looks like a Catherine Stein or Steen piece. I don't know if she marks her bangles or not. Um, but this is like a seed bead bangle bracelet. Needs to be a little shaped. Let's just do um, $2 on it. We have an exclusively yours. Hypoallergenic $7.50. These are definitely vintage. Oh, these are $19.28, I believe. See how it kind of has that pattern on the back? Like Paisley's almost. I believe these are 1928. Um, let's do these are definitely vintage. Um, all the faux pearls are there. Let's do seven dollars. Let's do seven dollars on these. These are vintage, I believe 1928. Really nice. I like those a lot. All right. We have a little handmade seed bead wrap bracelet again i am in a seven and a quarter it wraps around my wrist twice plus a little extra room so i would say this fits seven to seven and a half let's do um two dollars two dollars then these are little faceted glass beads with gold beads in between let's do two dollars on that one it's probably an ermish but the tag fell off Ooh, this chain looks like it could be silver Maybe silver? Let's see. Oh, the clasp isn't. Yeah, we'll have to test that. All right. All right, so this is all acrylic and glass beads. So let's see. Yes, acrylic and glass beads. It is a magnetic closure. It's on the longer end. This would be a really good necklace to wear when you go thrifting and you can use the magnets to test things. Let's just do um, $3 on this one as well. And again, the green and clear ones are glass and the white ones are acrylic. Definitely vintage. I think that $3 is a good price on that. All right. I'm trying to price things so they move because I don't want to hold on to all of this. This is just going to be craft a dollar. Actually, I don't think I'm going to be keeping the craft. I'll probably, as soon as I unbox this, the craft will be going out of my house. So I may not have... Oh, I don't know that Maker's Mark. I do not know that Maker's Mark. So I don't know how to price that. So I'm going to put that to the side. And we have another Ermish. This one is stunning. So it is an AB coated faceted red glass or crystal with faceted gold beads in between. Again, we're going to do $5 on the Ermish. All right. That is that. We'll just do a dollar on this one. I'm just going to do a dollar on this little silver tone with the, the textured spiral disc. That'll be a dollar. Um, okay, this actually has pretty good stretch on it. So it's like a antique patina copper, maybe. Let's do a dollar on it. All right, we have an Ermish. Trying to see if any there's any of the coating chipping. I don't see any offhand. So this is um this is probably supposed to look like that um that designer I'm gonna put on the screen if I can remember to put it on the screen um that does these like links um so it's pink glass and AB glass and it is marked an Ermish so we'll just do five dollars on this one as well but this is made to look like the designer I can't remember the name all right we have another little vintage necklace. Tangled. There we go. So these are faux pearls, acrylic beads with a gold tone spacer, seed beads. Um, a dollar on that if anyone likes it. 
That is one of the signs until hopefully we can find a match. Right, oh, we have another Ermish. This is interesting. I think these are marble. I think these are marble, not howlite. These look like Povey marble. Um, I think my cousin would really like these, though. Um, I'm going to do five on it, but if no one wants it, I'm going to give that to my cousin. So if anyone wants it, you better email me. <laughs> All right. We've gotten several of those Ermish bracelets. So this is um, broken. I can't really tell. All right. Ooh, we have another Ermish, it looks like. Yep, another Ermish. Um, red cubed faceted beads, gold faceted beads, like a neat dark navy faceted bead. Again, five dollars for the Ermish. Really pretty. Um, all right. Come on. Okay, this one is stunning as well. Oh my goodness. So we have faceted blue, faceted that looks like crystal um faceted gold and that is another ermish so another five dollar ermish bracelet if anyone is interested that one is stunning i love that one um some really nice ermish bracelets so we have that earring all right okay so far again nothing crazy i might make my money back just off the ermishes hopefully <laughs> So I didn't pay too, too much for this lot. But it would be nice to get a couple things that are worth, you know, a little bit. Okay, this is very tangled. I have to put the side for now. We have that earring. All right, let's grab some more. Right, ooh, this is stunning. This is stunning. Okay, let's make sure there's no missing stones. I do not see any. So these stones are like a marbleized pink with pink beads and fasted like peachy pink beads all around. This is not marked. This feels like, like a bobble bar quality, like a nice piece. Um, let's do $5 on it. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous and nice stretch on that. $5 on that one. All right, we have some studs. I'll have to look into those closer. Um, all right. We have this little patriotic pen. I'll just do a dollar. We have another Ermish? No, another one of those M's. Not sure on that brand. So I will have to look that on up again. So two of those so far. All right. Um, I think I said a dollar on the other one. What's this one say? Happy. So let's do a dollar for both of them. So a dollar for both of those. It says Virgo 823, no, 8, August 23rd to September 22nd. And it is a Virgo charm, I guess. Um, let's go and untangle it. There is some wear on the gold tone. So FY, there is wear on the gold tone. The pendant is really cool and unique. It almost looks like it's supposed to look like it's worn. Um, I don't know about that one. Let's just do for the charm. Let's just do um, let's do um three dollars, three dollars for the charm. Okay, we have to match these. I think nope, two different colors. Okay, we have another Ermish. Um, this is a faceted gold glass. They do glass crystals, sometimes natural stones. Um, again, $5 for this gold one. Really pretty. It's like gold and also has like some brown, I think, in it. Like some hematite. Pretty. All right. This is acrylic. There is some more on the clasp. This will just be a dollar. All right. This is a vintage to a chain that is going to craft um let's see this is a double layer oh there's some pretty tiger's eye beads on it let's see so let's see um there is some wear on the chain 
but there's these really pretty tiger's eye beads on it. So if some, oh, and these carved mother of pearl beads, you see that? It's like a carved leaf. Um, I'll do $2 on this because I think someone could definitely use these beads. So you got tiger's eye, mother of pearl, faux turquoise, faceted glass. So we'll just do $2 for the beads on that. I'm um, obviously you'll get the whole necklace, but I think it's definitely worth two dollars for those beads. Beads are expensive. Uh, if you go to like Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, like if you go down the bead aisle, it's it's pricey for beads now. All right, this is a multi-layer necklace that is tangled, and I do not feel like untangling it. It's unbranded. Style Uncle will take that for sure. All right. I have this necklace. Ooh, this is a oh, Ooh, these are cloisonne. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so here's the clasp. No markings. Does have a little bit of wear. So we have possibly glass. I think this might be glass. This is faux pearl. So then we go into a really pretty cloisonne bead. And then a gold tone rose. Another cloisonne bead. So how many cloisonne beads on here? So there's one, two, three. Three cloisonne. I think these are... I can't tell what those are. Let's do... I mean, I think the cloisonne beads are awesome. Let's do $5 on that. $5. It's very long. And this would be a really good layering piece if you had another cloisonne necklace. Those little cloisonne beads are just so pretty. So $5 on this piece if anyone likes it. All right. This is an unmarked, unbranded faux pearl. Definitely vintage. Um, let's do a dollar. All right. We have this gold, like, herringbone. No, this is a flat. I can't remember. Is this a ribbon chain? I can't remember what this one's called. But it's just a gold tone chain. I would say it's about 18 to 20 inches. Really nice. Um, let's do three dollars on that. That's a nice gold plated chain. All right, so that was all of that. That handful. I feel like we're going through this pretty quick. I might have to flip this into two parts just because it is 10 pounds. Oh no, we'll see. Oh look, we have another one of these. Oh, is this? Is this a matching? Um. This is stunning. So it is a pave magnetic clasp with these gorgeous champagne fasted glass crystal beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine or ten strands. This is large, larger. I would say, okay, so I'm a seven and a quarter. So I could definitely wear this for sure. Um, but I would say this would go up to a seven and a half, even maybe even seven and three quarters. But I would say seven and a, seven and a quarter to seven and a half. This is like perfect. Really pretty. And um, let's do three dollars. Three dollars on that. All right. We have another one of these. Again, five dollars. It is white gray. So these like um, baguette kind of looking ones are faceted silver and white with gold and white and so um that's another ermish and that's five dollars really pretty this one is an unmarked one so let's do this one they are glass or crystal let's do two dollars on that one really pretty this would be perfect for christmas stack that with one of the red ones like how pretty would that be oh you can even stack it with this Look how pretty that sack would be. That's really pretty. All right. We have a faux pearl earring. <gasps> Ooh, we have a scarab bracelet. Um, No markings. No markings on this at all. This is definitely vintage, I feel like. It feels vintage. So it is a gold tone with an acrylic faceted scarab cabochons and let's see 
again I'm like a seven and a quarter so I would say this fits between a seven and seven and a half because it does have the extender so like a seven to a seven and a half um this is really nice let's do eight dollars eight dollars on the um faux jade scarab bracelet really nice all right oh we have another nope this is that m another one of that m so we have three of these now okay well oh, this is pretty this reminds you of like 1928 it is oh this is a premier designs really nice premier designs necklace See. Let's see if all the stones are there. It upon first inspection, it does seem to have all of its stones. So this is a vintage, very, very cool Premier Designs necklace with the enamel and rhinestones. Let's do five dollars. Five dollars on the Premier Designs. Really pretty. Vintage antique brass necklace five dollars that one's a good one okay this is mojo we just click charm band so it is a charm bracelet somehow it comes oh okay so it comes off like that it's new with tags i will have to look up oh is that that brand no different mojo i will have to look that up it does have a charm on it already. It says we just click. And I'm assuming they just pop on and off. So I don't know anything about this. So I'll have to look it up. Okay, let's see. Come on. Okay, so we have hoops. Other crap. Um, we have some vintage beads. We have another string of them, it looks like. Um, I'll do both strands for a dollar. Maybe good garland. Maybe good garland. Dollar for both strands. All right, let's see. I think these little gold plated chains are perfect for layering especially if a necklace that if you have like a shorter necklace or a really long necklace and it has gold accents like just having a just a really dainty gold chain like mixed in with the layers is so nice and this is long i would say this is probably like a 20 20 inch 24 inch Really nice little gold tone excellent condition we'll do um three dollars on the gold plated chain that's what it looks like so three dollars if anyone likes that that one's a good one all right we have an, um the match that's craft we have another oh no another one of the m again i don't know that brand they're very similar to the ermish bracelets all right so far, no gold, no sterling, nothing crazy. We have an earring. We have, this is craft. I'll probably give it to my niece. My niece's favorite game now to play is jewelry store. So I gave her a huge, like, gallon size bag of just kids, you know, jewelry or beaded necklaces. And it is her favorite thing to just go through it and pretend like she's buying out, she's at a jewelry store. So whenever I get anything that's like cutesy or something that's kind of kid friendly, I usually save for her like this. I probably just give this to her. But, um, yeah. Try to stay away from like, like, um, I try to stay away from a lot of like metals. I try to stay with like either acrylic things or stuff like that. So this is, was marked $16. It is a gorgeous scarf charm so you if you wear a scarf you would feed your scarf through it and wear it through it and you would wear it 
um, absolutely gorgeous. It had a $16 price tag. Let's do $4 for the silver flower. Really pretty. All right. This is like ceramic and wood maybe. Let's just do a um, dollar on it. Oh, is that the cancer? Is that the cancer crab? Dollar. All right. Oh, we have the match to the gold hoop. These remind me of the Premier Designs ones, but they're not marked, so I can't say that. Let's just do two dollars for these rose gold um, hoop earrings. Two dollars if you like those. All right. Nothing crazy so far, that is for sure. So a little gold tone dangle earring. Oh, we have another like vintage looking necklace. Let's see what this is. All right. This one is adorable. So it is AB rhinestones. So AB rhinestones, prong set blue rhinestones. I think glass. There is no markings on this. This is so pretty. Um, Let's do $5 on this as well. Really pretty prong set blue inset EB. These almost kind of remind me of like butterflies. So really pretty. And it's like on an antique brass chain. $5. All right. Let's keep it moving. Um, we have a, this is going to go to craft. Yeah. All right. We have another faux pearl necklace. I'll just go to my niece. All right, I think I'm going to pause. I'm going to untangle this and I'll be back. All right, guys, I went ahead and untangled most of it. So hoping if I move this to the side, nothing, um, nothing breaks. Okay. Um, nothing amazing. Unfortunately, I did find these Mogo, um, click. This is called the animal attraction set. So I'll have to look that up with the bracelet. Okay, we do have some silver tone clip-ons that do need to be cleaned. But overall, in good condition, they just need to be cleaned. So $2 as is. Silver tone clip-ons. Um, this is a charming Charlie, like kind of like a faux cat's eye. Possibly glass, acrylic, I'm not sure. Good condition. Charming Charlie, $2 if anyone likes that. Um, these little faux leather earrings will just be a dollar. This was really cool. This I have to look up. It is a huge Liberty, um, was that a Liberty Dime? In God We Trust 1964, it says, Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. President Kennedy. Um, so... Really cool. Huge. I mean, look at it compared to the size of my hand. It's got to be at least like two and a half inches. Maybe three. I would say like two and a half, three inches. So I have to look that up. I'm, I'm thinking Christina might want that one. Um, this is craft. I'm just going to give it to my niece. Um, this again is also just going to go to my niece. It's also bangle. She will love it. This I thought was adorable. This is like a little possibly handmade vintage little bunny brooch we're gonna do um four dollars on that if anyone likes it um this is going to go to craft these are vintage white swirly textured beads let's do a dollar on those um this is like a faux jade swirly vintage necklace a dollar um, this was unfortunate. This was actually really nice. Um, it can be fixed. I just don't know if I have the time to fix it. It really just needs to get reattached right here. But it is a really nice crushed abalone um, shell. Really nice gold tone. Really good condition. It is a Liz Claiborne. Um, a really nice Liz Claiborne. So 
If anyone wants me to rehook that together, I would do that for $5. It just needs to get rehooked together. Um, but this really nice little abalone Liz Claiborne, $5 if anyone likes that. Um, this is a, oh, it's broken. This is a broken Avon necklace. Womp womp. All right, never mind. Um, this looks like a charming Charlie. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna give that to my niece. Um, all right. We have this ribbon necklace. This is Mart. Oh, I do not know that brand. CG? CJ? CG. CG. Um, it needs to get re-glued right here. So this is the back. So this is the front. Yeah, so it needs to get re-glued. I don't know anything about that brand. No idea. Um, if anyone wants it as is with the little piece that needs to get re-glued, $4. It is marked. I just don't know what the mark is. All right, we have another Ermish bracelet. It's like a faux turquoise with faceted glass beads. Um, this one I'm going to give to my cousin. She will like that one. All right, we have another one of the savvy, Sassy Bling. This one is not new. So let's just do um, $3. $3 on the little gold beads with the pink tassel. All right, so we have another faux pearl necklace. I'll go to my niece. We have this Ermish. These are like silicone beads and they need to be cleaned. It just needs to be wiped down. But um, as is, I'll just do it for three. It just needs to get wiped down. That's it. All right. This is a really pretty bracelet. All of the stones are there. No maker's marks. It does have a little sticker. SST. I'm not sure what that means. There's a toggle. Now, the silver tone has some yellowing to it. So not sure if that is intentional or not. But um, let's just do this one for $3 as is. Oh, let me get a length. I would say this is about a 7.5 to an 8. 7.5 to 8 on that one. 3 bucks. Uh, oh, this one. Oh, this one was a good one. This one was a good one. This might be the best piece possible we got. This is a Celebrity NY, which is a vintage jewelry brand. Quite pricey. It is a very, very long strand. So, I mean, this is easily like a 35, 40 inch strand, if not longer. Um, And again, it is marked Celebrity Something like this would probably go for like between $30 and $50 online. So let's do, let's do 15 on it. 15 on the Celebrity NY. And these are like the nice silver tone links. And it's very long, very good um, layering piece. Probably our best piece. This one was not marked, but it's very similar to the Celebrity. Um, and if anyone wants the celebrity, I would throw this in with it. And if you just want this, I would do three dollars on it. So three dollars on this, or if you want the celebrity, I would just clue that in there with it for free. Um, a roll ring. It is marked Hong Kong, made in Hong Kong. It's an adjustable ring. It's a very good condition. Let's just do two dollars on it. If it doesn't sell, I'll give it to my niece. <laughs> Um, that's a lot of wear. That is craft. This is quite unique. This is a matte antique silver tone chain with like these cool matte silver pieces that kind of look like a skeleton almost, like a like bones spine. There we go, spine. Um, it has wear, so that's craft. That's craft. This is craft. This is for my niece. Um, very, very long strand of faux pearls. I could double those. Actually, I could probably triple those. Um, let's do two dollars on that. I'll throw this in with the other little string bracelets that I said was a dollar. So three of these for a dollar. Um, this has some wear on the end caps in the chain. 
But if anyone wants all of these nice seed beads, I would just do a dollar on it. All of these prices are plus shipping, by the way. But I would just do a dollar on it. Oh, this is these are little footballs. These are little footballs. Um, these are probably gonna go to Jennifer. Little football um memory wire bracelet. She likes she liked that. This was a broken bobble bar, so I'll just use the beads. And um, I think I don't know if I show this one or not. This one's really nice. No maker's marks, gold tone with a feather and rhinestones and metallic. And we'll do a dollar on that. Really pretty. Let's see. I would say this best fits a seven. I'm a seven and a quarter if it's me a little snug. So I'd say that fits perfectly a seven, six and three quarters to a seven. And let's just do a dollar on it. This is a faux pearl bracelet. Let's just do a dollar on that. Um, so yeah. Ooh, this is really fun. It's not that much jewelry, so hopefully it doesn't take us too much longer to get through this. All right, we have a pair of Lauren, um, Lauren Ralph Lauren clip-ons. Um, so hopefully you find the match to that. That would be a good piece to sell. All right, we have a, oh, this one is missing one tiny stone. But this is an Ermish bracelet. It's fasted like opaly white. And because it's missing a stone, we'll do three on it. Because you definitely would never see that when you wear it. But it is missing one. So we'll do three on that instead of five. So three dollars. All right. All right, we have some super cute little Claire's um, Easter earrings. They were ten dollars. Marked down to a dollar at the yard sale maybe. Um, now the bunnies have a little bit yellowing to them. But the daisies and the little um, eggs are adorable. So let's just do... Let's just do three dollars because that's a dollar a pair. So three dollars for the little Easter earrings. Those are adorable. This is a safety pen bracelet, but it's going in craft. All right, let's see what this is. This is really cool. Oh, this is very nasty. So that is craft. Whatever that was, it's not. <laughs> My dog, I hope you don't hear that. My dog is itching next to our front door. So next we have an enamel tack pen for breast cancer awareness. It is a little pen um, distributed by DMM. Don't know that brand. But let's just do um, a dollar on it. All right. This is stunning. Oh, this is an Ermish. And this one's another one that'd be perfect for a Christmas stack. Like stack that with the red and the other blue. Guys, I'm so sorry if you hear that in the background. He's being a little loud. Like those would be gorgeous together. This one's five dollars. Anyone likes the Ermish? Oh, I see some turquoise. Um, sassy bling. This is another one I will probably give my cousin. It looks like faux turquoise. It's very hard to find turquoise with gold. This one actually as well. Another sassy bling. Those two are gonna go to my cousin. She will like those. All right. All right, we have another one of that M brand, which I do not know that brand. So we have that. All right, we have an earring. I don't know where I put all the earrings from earlier. I think I put them somewhere. I just know where I put them. All right, um, we have another Ermish. This one is like a navy, very dark navy blue with gold and red. Again, perfect Christmas stack, $5. All right, this is really cool. This is vintage. This is glass Ooh, this looks like j crew let's see absolutely stunning like chandelier kind of inspired earring and it is a j crew hopefully we can get the match that is stunning love that i don't know where i put the earrings so hopefully we find them all right we have a little stretch bracelet it's missing one stone i'll look at that to my niece and all the all of the jewelry for my niece so far in this like little bag she's gonna have so much fun with that all right we can, ooh, it looks like another ermish this one is like a faux pearl pink ivory gold very pretty 
perfect for spring and fall. And that one will be $5. All right. Oh, I think we may have already had the match to this. Let's see. I don't know. All right. So far, no sterling and no like real name brand pieces besides like the celebrity and the Ermish and that one J. Crew earring. All right. We have another one of this M, which again, I have no idea what brand that is. So hopefully I can figure that out before <gasps> we have the match to the J. Crew. This is a stunning J. Crew earring. Let's make sure all of the stones are there. Absolutely stunning. All of the stones are there. It's like an antiqued matte gold tone. So it's an antiqued matte gold tone. That's what they look like laying flat. Absolutely stunning. We will do um, $10 on those. $10 on those stunning J. Crew. Stunning. All right, let's see. This was marked $57, $37. Can't really tell. Not sure why it was marked that expensive. It's really pretty. It's like a faux jade little statement necklace. It's an antique gold tone chain. Let's do $3 on it. I don't believe they're real jade, just faux. $3. That one's pretty. All right, we have another earring. Oh, you know what? I don't know what I did with the earrings. Okay, this is another Ermish. This is silver, crystal, and like a blue glass that is like swirly. Oh, it's silver and blue swirl. That's an other Ermish. It's only five dollars on that one. All right, got a lot of Ermishes, which is great. So far, that's the only really good brand, except for the J. Crew. So far, this is a stunning earring. Hopefully, we get the match. Okay, this looks like it's branded. All right. This is an absolutely stunning memory wire bracelet. It's all these pave, like disco ball beads with all of these um, inset glass beads. This is, this is the paparazzi symbol, but this they only mark their paparazzi that is like the, like the Zai collection or the signature collection. And these pieces typically like um, retail for like fifteen to twenty dollars, um, fifteen to twenty five dollars. So this probably was an expensive piece from paparazzi. So let's do um, let's do five on it, which I know for paparazzi that seems insane, but these actually hold their resale value, and um, I've actually know that some pieces will actually go for more than what they um, originally were. People collect some of the, like, the Zai or the Signature Collection. So let's just do five on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Perfect. And I mean perfect holiday bracelet. Just because it's paparazzi does not mean it's good. People give paparazzi a really bad name. Now, I don't like the chunky, ugly paparazzi, but I do like the special pieces that they have. I do. I do. Now, I'm not just saying that because I want to sell <laughs> I actually do. They, they make some really pretty rhinestone jewelry from that Zai collection. All right, this is marked something. It looks like Leah Sophia, so yay, another name. Oh, and another name. I think this was the necklace I put to the side because I couldn't get it untangled. So we have that earring. This is... um. It does have some slight wear on the chain, so we're just going to do... I'm just going to give that to my niece. She'll love it. All right. All right, we're back. So we found this um, single earring. 
And again, I don't know where I took put all the single earrings. This is, this is like day two of me unboxing this. I was unboxing this yesterday. Then I had to stop because I had to run some errands. And now I'm like finishing off the video today. I cannot find the... Oh, never mind. Found the bag of earrings. So we'll put earrings there. All right. All right, let's get into it. This is a really nice silver tone, probably silver plated, very nicely thick diamond cut, like rope kind of twisted chain. Um, really nice. Let's just do $4 on the little silver plated chain. It's really nice. It's probably silver plated. I don't think it's silver. Yeah, it's not silver. So $4. That's a nice one. Really good layering piece. All right. This is going to go to craft. This is going to go to craft. Ooh, this is really nice. So this is like a needlepoint Native American inspired um, little cross pendant. So it's faux coral. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure if that's faux or real. I think it's faux. We're going to say faux. But it's, you know, on the small side. So it looks like next to my finger. Let's do five dollars on the little cross pendant. Again, I don't think it's sterling. I don't think it's sterling. Um, but let's just do five dollars on it. Really nice little cross. All right. This I have no idea. This is glass. I think. Yeah. It's on a silver tone chain, no marks. But it's like a little Roman head on it. Needs a little white down, but besides that, it's in, you know, there's a little bit of weird gold tone, but let's just do $5 on it. It's really cool. All right. So this is a 1928 and it's actually marked 1928 right there. And it is just two layers of gold tone chain. And it is completely adjustable, so you can pull this chain longer. I believe. No. Yeah. So you can change the links. So you can have them with the same link. You can have it where one link is shorter than the other. But all you have to do is just pull one chain. And that's how it moves. So see how it's done? It's just on a jump ring right here. So it's 100% movable. Really nice. And again, perfect for layering. That's 1928. So let's just do $5 on it. All right. This is craft. I'll probably go to my knees. All right. Um, this is what they call, I believe, rice paper beads. Um, they're usually made overseas and sold um, as like fundraisers and church, um, and church things. But it's really pretty multicolor. It is a vintage barrel clasp. There is another necklace tangled in it. So it's a little heart. If anyone wants both necklaces, I'll just do $2. $2 on that. I don't feel like untangling it. Next, we have a vintage gold plated gold tone. Really nice chain. I don't know if you guys can see the detail on that chain. It's really nice. Um, let's do $5 on it. Really nice gold plated gold tone chain. All right. This reminds me of Swarovski. It is not marked. It is not marked. It does have a vintage barrel, um, a vin. Oh, it is marked. No, it is not. No markings, but it is in the style of Swarovski, or honestly, it could be in the tag came off. It is a gold paper clip chain with these gorgeous blue crystals. And all of the crystals are there. All of the, oh. Okay, there is a little issue with the clasp. It doesn't like to close all the way, so you have to like push it closed. See, you have to like push it closed. Um, so let's just do $4 on it. If this is a rough ski, this would probably be like a 50 to $75 necklace. But, um, again, it doesn't have a tag and it has a little issue with the clasp. So $4, if anyone likes that. 
these are like faux stones it needs to be fixed i do not want to fix it so it's craft these are all glass and acrylic and oh, and natural stone possibly um beads we even have some like maybe metal ones so we have art glass we have art glass we have green glass we have red glass just really pretty mix beads again it's a memory wire let's just do four um so when this one bead does have some wear to it that bead does have some wear to it so let's just do three dollars on it perfect for christmas three dollars only one it looked like had wear though this has no maker's marks it does have some wear so it's going to go to craft all right so this is Aaliyah sophia Again, we did not get very many name brands in this box so far. So this is a necklace that you can wear two different ways. So you can wear it short, doubled with a toggle. All right, because it is a toggle clasp. It goes down into this pendant with these little dangles. This is cold to the touch. That's cold to the touch. This might be a quartz, a faux pearl, and a rhinestone. Or you can untoggle it. Oh, and there's the Leah Sophia mark. Um, or you can untangle it, and it is a really long silver tone chain with the little black beads, and you can wear it long. So two ways you can wear it. Let's just do five dollars for the Leah Sophia. Five dollars for the Leah Sophia necklace. All right, we have another little gold tone necklace. It has a little solitaire cut CZ, and um, we'll do four dollars on that. If no one takes it, I know my style encore will. They, they specifically asked me for DT necklaces like that. All right, that's craft. All right, we have another. Like, oh, this one does have that nice clasp. No markings, though. Let's see. We might have our first contender for silver, so we'll put that to the side just in case. All right, we have a Love Never Fails, 1 Corinthians 13.8. And we'll just do a dollar on it. It's a little adjustable corded bracelet. All right. This is a no. That will go to my niece. See, this is really nice. I thought this was going to be like a Joan Rivers, maybe a Monet. But there's no maker's marks. It's a long gold plated or gold tone chain. It has all of these little square charms. And there was, there's no clasp, but there's a spot where there's no charm where I believe the, where it would be the back of the neck. Right here. So this is the back. You can see there's a little jump ring right there. So no clasp, but it is very long. Definitely um, where it doubled for sure. Very nice little gold tone. Let's do $3. $3 for the square necklace. All right, next we have, this is a shepherd's hook closure, antique gold. It's not like a shiny gold. It's like a kind of worn gold. Very boho. And it goes into this pendant. Um, let's just do $3 on that. And that is going to be cracked. All right. Oh, and then we have this that I just cannot untangle, but we have like a little rose quartz pendant. We have a nice chunk of rose quartz. And then we have like a little vintage necklace. So that I'm going to have to untangle when I have more time. Today we're kind of crunched for time. All right. Yeah. So that's like our first. Oh, we have an Irmish. Oh, an Irmish set. Nice. Okay. All right. So let's see. This is going to craft. Okay, this Ermish set though. So it is one, two, three Ermish bracelets. So it is red. It's a matte red with a facet black and white crystal, clear crystal. It is marked. Then we have a solid red, and then we have this gorgeous faceted silver. So they're new on the card. It's a starter stack. Let's do $12 for all three. That's $4 a piece. So $12 for all three bracelets. 
All right, next we have another scarf charm, scarf slider. You would, you know, put your scarf through it and wear it. This is perfect for fall. Let's just do $3. That's a really nice scarf charm. All right, so we have a key. So hopefully we find the pendant that goes on it. We have an Ermish. I love this faceted yellow. It's like yellow disco balls, and that's $5. We have another Ermish. This is a faceted, very dark navy blue, almost black, but I believe it's navy, with this gold link chain. Really cool and interesting. That one's going to be $5. All right, next we have one of these bracelets. So it's like crushed rhinestones with a um, textured hammered cross. Let's just do a dollar on it. Let's see if it fits. I would say this best fits a seven to a seven and a quarter. Seven to a seven and a quarter. So standard. And let's just do a dollar. All right, we have a charm. Oh, look, we have another scarf charm. All right, this one is really pretty. It's like a big daisy, or is that a sun? I can't really tell. It has a big rhinestone right in the middle. It's glass. And let's just do $3 on this one as well. It's very substantial, but it'd be really cute on a scarf. We have an earring. Oh, I think we have the match to this. Possibly. Yes, we do. If anyone likes the um, antique gold peacock feather earrings, those would just be $2. $2 for those. All right. This is an adjustable length. This one I'm going to have to Google Lens. It's really pretty, like a mermaid. It's like pink blue ombre really pretty. I'm gonna have to Google Lens that. This might be Swarovski or something. All right. Ooh, this looks like Sterling. Our first like maybe, maybe Sterling piece. And of course it's tangled. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Yeah, I think this might be sterling. Let's see. It is marked 925 TBB. I think that says 925 TBB. So 925, hopefully we get the match. And hopefully that's actually silver. All right, so we have, it says it's a heart that says faith, I think. I think that says faith. And it's on this like um, stainless steel chain. I think it's all stainless. Let's just do a um, dollar on it. All right, we have another one of those M's, which again, I don't know that brand. Ooh, ooh, this one might be my favorite Ermish so far. It is a textured gold bead with like a sand dollar. I'm not really sure, is that a, is that a star in a night sky? I don't know, but I, I love it, it's so pretty. The gold tone on this is in perfect condition. Let's do $5 on it. Really pretty. I love this one. Some of those bracelets can be collect, like certain Ermish bracelets can go upwards of like $20, $25, depending on the bracelet because people collect them. Um, for the most part, they usually sell between $10 and $15. So that's why I'm selling them all to you guys for five. I think five is a really good price. So this is a mix of matte and shiny metallic black and again five dollars um this one i'm sure is an ermish but it's not marked but since it's not marked we'll just do two dollars on it um those are craft all right oh this is gorgeous this looks like avon i'm like 99 percent sure this is avon um so this is either this is a pen that you would put like on a blazer you could put it on a scarf. You could put it on your jacket. Um, really pretty. Reminds me of a Christmas bow. And I will put a price on the screen. Really pretty. 
Hopefully I can find some info on that. I believe it's Avon though. I like that. All right. We have another Urmish. This one is again the colors my um, cousin likes. So is this one. So I will put these to the side. Oh, and this one. So these ones I will put to the side for her. I don't think she'll like this one. I don't know. I'm going to put these to the side for her in case she likes those. And if she doesn't, I'll, I'll probably bring them to a video, maybe an auction at some point. All right. So this is a Charming Charlie. Very pretty gold tone link with faux pearls and faceted champagne glass beads. It does have an extender, so this will fit lots of different wrist sizes. Yeah, it'll fit from a 7 to probably an 8, if I had to guess. Yeah, 7 to 8. And let's just do $3 on the Charming Charlie. It's very pretty. Again, another perfect holiday bracelet. Nice. More beads for my niece. All right, and we have some earrings. Ooh, this is an earring. There we go. There we go. Um, ooh, this might be silver. No, I don't think it is. It kind of had a, that tarnished look, but I think that is just tarnished. That's really pretty. All right. Um, another one of those M bracelets. Hopefully I'll have a price on the screen. Again, I don't know that brand, so maybe not. <laughs> This is very unusual. Look how pretty this earring is. It reminds me of something like J. Crew or Bobble Bar would make. No maker's marks. This, I'm pretty sure, is Lee Sophia or um I think it's Lee Sophia. I've had this earring before. Can't remember. It's a very nice it has a nice bit of weight to it. We have a ring that is marked Hong Kong, made in Hong Kong, or just Hong Kong. It is adjustable and it's a snake. Perfect for anyone who likes reputation. It's coming soon. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, and let's just do $2 on the Hong Kong ring. All right. This is another Urmish. This one, this one is made to look like kind of terrazzo. If you know, like the crushed stone. So it has like this like sprinkled, spackled kind of look to it. Um, so it's intentional. It's not chipping. That's how it's supposed to look. Um, and we have red, gray, and blue with gold tone beads. And let's just do $5 on it. Again, perfect holiday piece. Perfect for um, 4th of July. Um, these are craft. I don't sell those. All right. And I don't remember if we got this earring or not. Okay, and that was the knot. Oh, and then we had that earring. Okay. All right, that was all of that. So I think this is our last little handful. Guys, I'm going to have so much to edit in this video. I'm hoping we get the match to the 925 earring. And I'm hoping that silver chain ends up being 925. Um, so we shall see. I think I'll make my money back just off the Urmish bracelets. Like I said, I didn't pay too, too much for this lot. But I still, you know, wanted to make a few dollars on it. I don't want to just make my money back. This video is probably going to be very long as well. All right, this is everything. This is all that's left. So we have another one of these motorcycle angels. So let's just do again $5 on it. This was a really nice little Christmas gift. All right, this is stunning. This this looks exactly like um, Silver Forest. If you don't know that brand, I sell, seem to sell a lot of it on, on Mercari. It looks just like a Silver Forest earring. So let's see if we get the match. This looks just like a, um, a Lauren, Lauren Ralph Lauren earring that I had, but it's not marked. We have another one of these. I think these are supposed to be earrings, possibly. Nope, there's three of them. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. Okay, we have an earring. We have an earring. We have a bracelet that has some wear. All right. We have another bracelet that is Urmish. This one is stunning. Again, so we have um, more of like the classic faceted beads, but we also have some faceted square beads mixed in as well. And that is like a 
kind of opaque, opalite, kind of clear opal light. <laughs> Words are hard. This one's pretty, $5. We have another Urmish. This one is another perfect holiday one. Has all of its green rhinestones. And that's an Urmish. Let's do $5 on it. Oops. All right, we have a bangle bracelet that has a lot of wear. We have another Urmish. This one has a faceted red charm with white. Now this, the white does have some wear. And again, these bracelets, they're silicone. So all you have to do is put, um, wash them with soap and water and they clean up pretty well. But because it has a little bit of wear on the white, let's just do three. All right, this is Missing Stones. This has been a perfect Ken ring. If anyone watched the Barbie movie, this has been a perfect Ken ring. <laughs> Now that song's gonna be stuck in my head for the rest of the day. All right, um, this is our silver tone. I would probably say like three quarters of an inch hoops. Nice wide band. Let's just do a dollar on them. Nothing crazy there. We have a vintage, another Hong Kong ring that is adjustable, but it does have wear on the back. You can see that there is some wear on the back. But it's a little peace symbol and it's Hong Kong, so let's do a dollar on it. Okay, this is a nice bracelet. It's, it's not stretched. This must be a magnet. Where's the magnet? Oh, there it is. This is a nice bracelet. It's an antique silver tone, so it's not like a shiny silver. It's like a, you know, kind of well-worn silver look, which I think is what they were going for. It's really pretty. Let's see what the length is like a seven to seven and a quarter so i think seven and a quarter it fits perfectly on actually this would probably go up to a seven and a half so seven to seven and a half i would say so pretty average on that now i can't figure out how to get it off <laughs> but again again this is like an antique silver tone it has a very much so um brighton look to it three dollars three dollars on that one we have a little um, gold, it is marked Made in USA, little rose tie pen. So that's a perfect little pen to put on a gentleman's lapel, on his um, tie, handkerchief. Let's do um, a dollar on it. Okay, we have some really well-worn rings. And I think we do have them matched to these clip-ons, but they are not great. So those are craft. We have another one of those. We have another one of those. We have another Hong Kong ring. Again, adjustable. This one is smushed a little. Oh, I think that's the way it's supposed to look. It goes in in the sides. Let's just do a dollar on that one. Um, oh, we have the match to this gorgeous earring. So I will Google Lens it and I will have a price, hopefully, on the screen for you guys. If anything pops up. Um... And if they don't, nothing pops up, I'll just have a price. They're just absolutely stunning. Again, perfect holiday earring. It's like a peachy pink and clear rhinestone. And they look like they're all there. Pretty. I like those. All right. Ooh, this one might be my new favorite Ermish. This one is stunning. So it is an Ermish. It is fasted. This is definitely crystal. Look at the rainbow in that. It is stunning. Absolutely stunning. So it's like a rainbow clear with red and blue um, spacer beads. And then these matte gold tone, kind of like hexagon geometric shape beads. Again, $5. This one might be one of the ones that are worth a lot. But we're just going to do... Now there is a little bit of scratching. I don't even know if you call that scratching. It's like a little spot. But um, $5 on that one's gorgeous. <gasps> Guys, we got the match of the 925. We have the match of the 925 earring. We will test these. 925, yay. Okay, so we have one 925 piece. So does that mean I can put 925 in my title? <laughs> um, this is craft. Um, we have that earring. I think we've had all of these earrings. All right. We have another Ermish, another perfect for 4th of July. So it's like a frosted white, a faceted blue, and a faceted red. And it is a um, gold tone with a little pave star. 
five dollars for that one someone must have had sets because a lot of these would go perfect in sets you know all right we have another Urmish. This one is like a brassy gold color with really dark navy blue. Five dollars on that one. All right. This is an Avon earring. So hopefully we get the match. Actually, I think this is a lapel pen and someone stuck it on an earring back, but maybe not. It could be. A, maybe it is an earring. All right. Is there anything good in here? This is really pretty. This is an unmarked Fold over clasp, silver tone link with little CZ rhinestones. It's got a length on it. And these are like average, like not exact measurements. I'm just from putting them on my wrist and knowing what my wrist size is, I can kind of tell you what it would fit. So this, I'm a seven and a quarter. This fits me perfectly. It could probably go up to a seven and a half, but for a seven and a quarter, it fits me perfectly. So I would say seven to seven and a quarter, maybe seven and a half, but seven to seven and a quarter is perfect. Seven to seven and a quarter would fit that perfectly. Let's just do three dollars on it. Really pretty silver tone links on that. All right, we have a worn ring, some earrings. We have a faux pearl stretch. It's my cut niece. We did get the match to this earring, so I will Google Lens them. If anything pops up, um, even if nothing does pop up, I will put a price on the screen for those. They look like a Leah Sophia or like a Premier Designs. Very nice weight to them. They, they do have weight to them. All right. We have the match to this. Nope. They're two different ones. We did get the silver forest earring. Hopefully. I'm going to go again. I'm going to Google lens them. Um, see if anything pops up. Very cute, very boho earrings. And again, I'll have a price on the screen for those. Um, did we not get to Lauren? Oh, we did. We did. I have sold a nice bit of Lauren and Ralph Lauren earrings. Um, I don't even go by the retail price anymore. It says $28. Um, I kind of know they kind of sell for around that $15 to $20 mark. So let's just do um, $8. $8 on the Lauren Ruff Lauren um, Gold Tone Ball. They are a clip-on. So $8 on those. <clears throat> then we have all these earrings. We have another one of those. We have another Hong Kong ring, I bet. This one's not marked, so a dollar. Um, we have that earring. Okay, we have another. This one is not marked. Gorgeous. This is like a pinky red, kind of like a ruby red color, if you will. Um, with gold tone space rates, two dollars. Then we have our last Urmish bracelet. This one is so pretty. It's frosted white with clear faceted white with pink how white with gold textured beads in between. Love that one. Five dollars. And these all have really good stretch. Urmish bracelets are very good quality. All right, we have the match to this silver hoop. So hopefully I can find a brand or Google Lens that. If not, I will have a price on the screen. This is plastic. That's crap. All right. And then this is what's left. We have a necklace that is very tangled. And, oh, we do. Okay. These are earrings. Where are the match? Okay. So these are Avon earrings. They are marked Avon. So it is a solitaire and marquee cut um, rhinestones with a faux pearl teardrop. And let's just do $3 on them. $3 on the Avon. All right, and then we have all of these rings. Oh, and then we have another pen. And this one is marked Avon. And they're little owls. How adorable. This one we're going to do five. Let's do four. Four dollars for the little Avon with the owls. That is adorable. And again, it is a pen. I love that one. Oh, and then we have the match to this earring. Which, again, not marked, not branded. Let's just do three dollars. Three dollars on these really fun pink seed bead tassel petal earrings. Three bucks. All right. Oh, and then we have these post, but I'm not going to sell those. So everything else is kind of like, no. 
So that was my box. Let's go ahead and test those silver really quickly. This is going to be a really long video. I'm sorry. Hopefully you guys like long videos because this one is definitely going to be a long one. And let's see. If these are real silver. All right, so yay, we do have silver. The earrings are testing 925. However, so these, these little earrings are 925. Again, I don't know. I have to get my loop out and look at what the markings are. I will have a price on the screen for you. Um, what were the markings? 925 IBB or TBB? Um... So I will have a price on the screen for the little 925 earrings. Um, unfortunately, this did not test 925. So this is the only 925 that we got. But yay, we did get 925. So yay, um, for the price that I paid, not mad at it. You know, this wasn't the best box by any means. But I definitely got some sellable pieces like the J. Crew earrings, all of those Ermish bracelets. I should make my money back just off the Ermish bracelets. The Liz Claiborne, the Lauren Roth Lauren, the couple Avon pieces, that really pretty paparazzi bracelet. So overall, not bad. Um, I mean, we got a lot of these Armish bracelets and they are stunning and really good quality. So hopefully you guys are, hopefully you guys like Armish because that's mostly my box. So again, please, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment on what your favorite piece was. Um... And please make sure you're subscribed. And again, if there's anything in this video that you were interested in purchasing, all you have to do is send me an email at the email address right here. And that is brightenyourday at yahoo.com. And if you stuck with me through the whole video, please leave a pizza emoji in your comment. Because I know it's a really long video. And I just want to see who actually stuck with me through the end. So if you watched the whole video, please leave a pizza emoji in the chat. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.